Hi Jacob and Nate. Nana's got a story for you tonight. I hope you like this one. It's called Rufus Goes to Sea. It, it might be a bit silly, but I think you'll like it. Here we go. It's a big book, this one, and it's got lots of pages. Rufus Goes to Sea. Here we go. Rufus Leroy Williams III loved going to school. He loved reading. He loved writing. He loved playtime, nap time and story time. And one day, Rufus found the school door locked. That's a bit strange, he thought. Rufus sat down to read his favourite book and Rufus read about days of adventure. He read about nights under the bla under blankets of stars. Rufus kn knew just what to do for summer vacation. He would become a pirate. Rufus packed his lunchbox, put on his backpack and picked up his blanket. Then he called a taxi. My name is Rufa, Rufus Leroy Williams III, said Rufus, and I want to be a pirate. Hang on, said the taxi driver. Rufus Leroy Williams III trotted to the ship. He looked up, up, up at the deck. Then he opened his book and it said, permission to come aboard. Permission to come aboard, shouted Rufus. Shiver me whiskers, said first mate Scratch Whiskers. It's a pig. Faces peered over the rail. Um, my name is Rufus, Rufus Leroy Williams the Third, said Rufus, and I want to be a pirate. Ah, no pigs on pirate ships, growled Captain Wibbly Shins. Why not? said Rufus. There they are there. Because pigs play on the poop deck, said the captain. They swing from the yard arm, they picnic in the crow's nest, and they wipe their chins with the jolly roger. Well, thought Rufus. Rufus frowned, but I have a backpack, a lunch box and a blanket, he said. Arr, useful gear, said Captain Wibbly Shins, but not what the pirate I be looking for needs. And he waved Rufus on his way. Rufus Leroy Williams III really wanted to be a pirate. And he knew just what he needed. Rufus scurried aboard the scurvy dog. He grabbed a mop and he went to work. Pick on the quarter deck, called first mate Scratch Whiskers. And he has a hat. Captain Wibbly Shins jumped down the steps. No pigs on pirate ship, he said. Why not, said Rufus William the Third. Because pigs tangle up the rat lines, they said, said the captain, and they roll up in the hammocks. Really, do they? 
pigs draw on the treasure maps and build castles with the pirate's booty. I've never heard that before. Not me, said Rufus, held up the mop and pointed to the deck. How? We already have a deck swabbing pirate, said Captain Wibbly Shins. The pirate I be looking for needs a different skill. And he shooed Rufus off the ship on your way. Rufus Re Leroy Williams III really, really wanted to be a pirate and he knew just what he needed. Have you had a guess yet? <laughs> nice eye patch, said the ship's cook. But we already have a potato peel and pirate. And he shooed Rufus out of the galley. On your way, Rufus. Rufus Leroy Williams III knocked on the captain's door. Permission to speak, Captain, said Rufus. The captain sat up in his bunk. No one interrupts the captain's nap, he roared. But you need a pirate, said Rufus, and I have a hat and an eye patch. There he is. Well, useful gear, said Captain Wibbly Shins, but the pirate I be looking for needs something else. And he marched Rufus to the plank. Oh dear. Wait, said Rufus, wobbled back to the deck. He held up his book. I have this. And Captain Wibbly Shins wiggled his eyebrows. Can you read it? Oh yes, said Rufus. I can read it. Why didn't you say so? A reading pirate is just what we need. Captain Wibbly Shins handed Rufus a treasure map. Show us where you made what you made of Piglet. So Ruf Rufus Leroy Williams the third unrolled the map. Sail into the fun full moon. Turn right at sunrise, and stop when you hit dry land. And dig where X marks the spot. Well, everybody kind of looked very surprised. Welcome to the crew, said Captain Wibbly Shins. Mr Scratch Whiskers, hoist the sails. And Rufus loved being a pirate. He loved the rolling seas and... He loved the salty breezes and he even loved teaching the pirates their ABCs and especially the letter P. P for pirate. And he loved finding buried treasure most of all. Do you think they found it? because new adventures waited inside. Look what they found. They found the book of treasures. And that's the end of the story. Hope you like this one, boys. It was called Rufus Goes to Sea. Nana loved reading that story to you. Love you to the moon and back. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.